Hello you guys, this is um, Aaron Lockwood here and I'm doing a um, three Transformers in one video comparison review on Transformers 25th Anniversary um, Optimus Prime which is the, um, the Hasbro um, version of Optimus Prime in the centre here you can tell by the DVD, the Autobot Steward and the um, um, Hasbro box art of G1 Optimus Prime and I'm also doing a um, another video comparison review on um, Transformers Encore Optimus Prime, which is the um, Japanese version of um, Optimus Prime as well. Now, to get started, um, we're on to the um, Transformers um, 25th Anniversary um, Optimus Prime um, Hasbro version. You can tell by the, um, the sh um, short um, smokestacks um, due to American safety laws. That's the um, um, G1 pick of um, Optimus Prime there, and um, um, the Hasbro um, box art there, or should I say. And um, he also comes um, for the first time ever, full, three full um, episodes of um, um, Transformers um, Season 1, Episode 1, well, Episodes 1 through 3, should I say, um, in the not DVD version of 25th Anniversary Optimus Prime as the non um, DVD version only comes with the um, G1 um, reissue and uh, along with the um, graphic novel and um, Autobot Shield. Now this is um, the 25th anniversary op version of Optimus Prime. You can tell by the, um, the short smokestacks due to American toy safety laws because um, people had both thought they could um, the missiles smokestacks were too long and um, missiles were too short, so need, the missiles um, need to be a bit long. And this is the um, anime coloured version by Hasbro, not released in Japan though. And I'll show you all the um, the back of the box. Again, this is very much the same thing. And um, that's the um, um, pick of um, Optimus Prime with the long smoke stacks in truck mode and in robot mode as well. And that's the um, pick of the Transformers Encore um, Optimus Prime version, which I'm planning to buy um, some t sometime in July. Only this time I'm keeping my um, my other um, on Encore Optimus Prime, my fourth one in um, in truck mode, and my fifth one in um, in robot mode, and his trailer in trailer mode, without applying any stickers on, because I fear that the um, the stickers will get worn out. And again, if you also look at the back, you can see um, um same picture, but the um, but the picture's a bit uh, bit um, bit big, and um, on the back you can tell by you can also see the text specs and the pick of Optimus Prime at the back as well. And the same on the non-DVD version as well. Now this is the Transformers um, Encore version of Optimus Prime which has been released in Japan since 19... Um, not, 19 uh, not 1984... Um, 2007, sorry, and this is my favourite um, Transformers um, Encore um, reissue. And I hope to, uh, as I said before, I'm keeping that for my second... so fourth... Um, Fourth and fifth and uh, sorry, fifth um, Transformers um, Encore Optimus Prime reissue. Uh, like I said before, I'm keeping the fifth one um, in robot mode, my fourth one in truck mode, without any um, stickers being applied onto it. As I mentioned before, my other re video review. And um, one thing that also interested me about um, Encore Optimus Prime is that um, this, he has his small fists um, and um, he also has small fists and um, the and the stickers are applied onto him from um, 1984, the um, Hasbro G1 um, Transformers version of Optimus Prime. And this really, really interested me a lot. And the same, I think the, um, um, the first ever um, Transformers um, 1984 version of Optimus Prime in his track mode and his robot mode. Again, if I manage to keep it up for two of these, um, um, if I manage to keep it up for two um, Hasbro um, 1984 G1 um, Optimus Prime um, G1 um, originals with the um, grey um, missiles, grey roller, and the massive fist and massive gun, um, um, when I'm on a trip to um, America, I'll be sure to do a video review on that um, while I'm on a trip to um, New York. Now let's take a look at the now at the back here, um, you can see the 
That's um, we don't have the um, the these formations because um, people house both thought they were um taken away the um, they thought they they would confuse the sorry confuse the um, be confused with um, the diet clone version. And um, as Optimus Prime is truck mode, trailer mode, but his trailer's in base mode. Optimus Prime in attack truck mode. There's Roller in attack mode. Optimus's trailer in trailer mode. And again, this is also interesting me a lot because Optimus Prime is still in his robot mode, but his trailer is in base mode. Sorry, preparation bay mode and repair bay mode. Again, that is what also interested me about um, Optimus Prime. And um, they also have the 1984, sorry, 1984 um, box art, as you can see. And this is very much like the Hasbro 1984 version. And again, this one really, really interested me a lot. Now you see the two Optimus Primes, the Yonko Optimus Prime with the long smokestacks, the um, Hasbro um, version of Optimus Prime, um, 25th anniversary edition, short smokestacks, nicer colors. Again, short smokestacks, shortened due to American sorry, safety laws. Now, if you look at the trailer, they're very much the, um, the same roller, same Optimus Prime trailer. The only difference is the Yonko version has um, short smokestacks, and the Hasbro version in America has long um, missiles, sorry, long missiles, shall I say, because um, people asked before that Optimus Prime's missiles were very, very long. Well, way too short, so they need to be um, a bit long. And Blue Roller is light blue colored, and his trailer is um, light, lightest gray, very much like the anime version, while the Hasbro version is still gray, so dark gray, and Roller is light gray. Bit of navy blue there, and, um, and um, this is the um, Encore version. Another one of my top favorite um, G1 reissues, and and there's Optimus 25th Anniversary Prime's op, Prime's trailer. And now onto the robot mode. Now there you see um, G1 um, Optim Encore Optimus Prime with the long smokestacks Autobot symbols being painted onto him, and long um, massive um, convoy gun, um, normal red and not on his. Um, torso and arms, and light and um, ordinary blue on his feet. And as for the 25th anniversary um, Hasbro version of G1 Optimus Prime, again, he has the same um, Autobot symbols painted onto his shoulders like the um, Transformers Encore version, except um, um, for light colors and short smoke that, again, as I've mentioned, um, have been shortened due to toy safety laws. And I'm really glad I got um, to... Um, um, two Encore um, Optimus, sorry, one, sorry, I'm so glad I've got some Encore Optimus Prime and I'm going to be keeping up for another one. And this time I'm not going to be applying any stickers onto it. And um, I'm going to be keeping up for another two of um, 25th Anniversary Optimus Prime reissues, one DVD version and one non-DVD version. Um, and this time I'm going to keep in two of them sealed. And I also recommend picking up um, two I recommend picking up um, 25th Anniversary Optimus Prime and Encore Optimus Prime as well, because they are a must for all Transformers fans. And I um, hope you enjoyed this video review. And um, before I um, sign off, I'd like to give a, a big shout out to um, um, Brad Kavanagh and Samantha Durant. And um, and um, I'm also um, I'm also um, and um, I'd also like to give another um, last minute um, um, shout out to um, Robot um, Japan as well, and to all my um, and to all my friends on YouTube, and um, all the other Transformers fans on YouTube as well. So hope you all enjoyed this video review, and I'll see you all again um, real, real soon. And um, you guys take care of yourselves.